Hello lovely Leo, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with your weekly love reading. Where in this video we're going to take a look and see what is surrounding you in love. Specifically taking a look at the current energy between you and your person. And then we're going to take a look at your feelings towards each other. Clarify any cards that I feel I need to clarify. And then towards the end of the reading, we're going to, we are going to draw some bonus cards for last parting messages and or advice, whichever comes first, Leo. I hope you've all been well, Leo. Do keep in mind this is a general reading. And if any part of the reading should resonate, then please let me know by hitting that like button. Uh, if you would like to join the Cancer Moon community, then you know what to do. And this reading can be good for Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising Leo placements. Leo, if you feel that your messages are not here, then be sure to check out your Moon sign, your Rising sign and your Venus sign as your messages may be over there. And to the cross watchers, you're also welcome. I do advise just to take the messages at your own discretion. Feel free to reverse the roles if necessary. Otherwise, a personal booking is where it's at. And all the details on how to work with me will be in the descriptions box below. We're going to open up the reading by taking a look at the current energy between you and your person, Leo. So let's begin the reading. Spirit, angels and guides, please show us the current energy between Leo and the person that Leo is thinking of, dealing with and connecting to in love for the upcoming days and week. First card coming through is the Temperance card. You could be connecting to a Sagittarius. We have the Hanged One. We have the Hermit card, Major Arcana for Virgo. Look at all of these Major Arcana cards. Mm. Four of Swords. Queen of Swords. This is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What have we got at the bottom? We've got the Queen of Cups. Gee, there's a lot of uh, court cards here. A lot of queens. Five of Swords. Page of Swords. The Emperor. Hmm. Queen, Queen of Cups, Five of Swords. Let me just have a look at these energies. Okay, Leo, I'm just getting here with the Queen of Cups and the Five of Swords. There could be someone here that is playing emotional mind games here with you or is emotionally manipulating you or has been trying to emotionally manipulate you. Hmm. I do feel that this person does care about you. But I feel with the Page of Swords here, Leo, that this person has a lot of insecurities. Okay, a lot of insecurities. A lot. Very insecure person that you're dealing with here. That's what I feel. On the outside with the Emperor here, they act like they're confident, but inside they're like a, a, they're a scared little girl, little boy. Okay, there's a lot of insecurity. I'm just getting insecurity here with the Page of Swords. Like you've got someone here that jumps to a lot of conclusions or they take things very personally. Um, And I feel like they they emotionally manipulate you to try to control you, to try to, yeah, I feel like this person's got big, massive control issues. And I feel like, honestly, Leo, it's stemming from in, insecurity. I, I do have to say, I do feel that this person does care about you, okay? It's coming in 
strongly here with the Queen of Cups and the Six of Cups. I feel that you have your guard up with this person with the Seven of Wands. I feel like you have your guard up, like you're protecting your energy uh, with this person. This person feels like you are pushing them away. And right now, Leo, this person is missing you. I just get this energy. They're missing you. Yeah, look at this. The Three of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. This person has hurt you. Yeah, this person's hurt you. They've disappointed you. They've let you down. Mm. It feels it feels heartbreaking. Um, it feels heartbreaking, but underneath the three of swords is the nine of pentacles. So I see you you're trying to heal. You're trying to heal from this connection. OK, I feel like you're just in a place where you're trying to heal yourself. And, you know, this person's also hurting right now um, because they can see here with the Nine of Pentacles that you might be thriving or you're doing re really well on your own. But they, they can't see that you're also hurting or you're also healing from maybe a breakup here. Because underneath that is the Ten of Swords, okay? There has been some kind of ending here. Yeah, and look at that. Underneath that is the Magician. I could just keep on going. This is you. You're the Magician here. Okay, you're trying to empower yourself here. Um, you're just focusing on yourself here. Mm. Uh, was that the card that was on top? Yeah. All right. I don't feel that you guys are currently talking because the Hermit card is here and the Four of Swords. I feel, Leo, that you have distanced yourself from this person. Okay, you may have even called time out on this connection. Mm. You've definitely distanced yourself. You're, you've called time out. I feel with the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles that you have, you're the one that had a word with this person. Okay, you, you had a word with them. I feel like you cut the cord or you cut the tie here I feel like Leo I feel that you have been fair with the Queen of Swords I, I see the Queen of Swords as a fair queen you gave this person an opportunity you gave this person a chance Mm. I feel with the temperance card you are willing to compromise you were willing to compromise with this person but I feel with the hanged one you're realizing that this is someone that you can't comp you're realizing that this is someone that you can't compromise with anymore Can I just clarify the Queen of Pentacles? Let's expand on the Queen of Pentacles, the, the Six of Wands, the Six of Wands.
Yeah, you can't compromise with this person because I don't feel, Leo, this person is really listening to you. The man in the Six of Wands, he has his back turned away from you. I don't feel like this person, I feel like whatever you're telling this person, it's falling on deaf ears. Whatever you're saying, it's falling on deaf ears. Mm. That's, that's how it's coming across. Why is the temperance card here? Why is the temperance card here? Tell me more. Why is the temperance card here? Spirit? The devil. Major arcana for Capricorn. So Leo, I don't know, I'm, I'm getting this message because for some of you it's going to resonate. I, I still feel, Leo, that you may have one foot in, one foot out of this connection. I feel that you are willing to compromise with this person, but with the devil coming in clarifying the temperance card, you're realizing here that this is someone that you can't compromise with. It seems like with the devil that whatever your issues are with this person it seems like these issues are never going to go away because the devil speaks to like repeated patterns or habits that are unable to break so it, it feels like this person um, they can't break free of a pattern here that is essentially like sabotaging your relationship. So uh, earlier I said um, emotionally manipulative, okay? This person emotionally manipulates you. It's a tactic and it's, it, it's a tactic that they use whether they consciously are aware of this or not. It's damaging to the relationship. And you're realizing here with the hanged one that you don't actually think that this person will ever, ever change. So it was necessary for you with the, with the hermit card to distance yourself so you can see things more clearly. You know, when you take a step back and I, I see it here with the queen of swords, you know, she's very observant The the hermit card is, it's taking a step back for a swords calling time out. And it's during these moments of separation that you begin to gain clarity. Hmm. Yeah, you're starting to gain clarity, uh, Leo. So your person, um, there is a, an insecurity here, but I feel, I don't know, I, I just feel with the emperor that they could be too proud to admit that, uh, or it could be like an ego thing. I honestly don't, I honestly feel like this person doesn't even see it. They don't see their own patterns or their own behaviours here, but they don't see it. They don't recognise it. They, they just don't see it. And that's really hard to work with, right? Because I feel that you've been more than fair with this person, with the Queen of Swords. I just see for you, Leo, um, in the current energy that you're just you're just trying to recover. You're, you're just trying to recover maybe for some of you, Leo, from a very toxic relationship. Okay, for other Leos out there, I feel like you're just trying to recover. And with the Hermit card, you're just trying to come back into alignment with yourself. 
because for some of you Leos you may have lost yourself in this relationship but you know what you're, you're coming back into alignment with yourself with the hermit card I see that you're doing some soul searching here mm. this soul searching is just coming back to your truth you know what's true for you And, and not letting this person uh, manipulate you. It's like your person, Leo, can't see it from your perspective. I feel that you've tried to put yourself in this person's shoes and you've tried to see it from their perspective, but they are, un they are incapable of doing that with you. Okay, let's, um, let's take a look at your current feelings towards this person. So we, we've seen the current situation. Let's take a look at the current feelings. All right, spirit angels and guides, what are the current feelings between Leo and Leo's person? Oh, sorry. Spirit, what are the current feelings... What are Leo's current feelings towards this person? Okay, King of Wands. Well, I like that for you. Um, you're in a fixed energy right now. You're, you're true to your nature. You're true to your character. Um, I just feel, Leo, that you are... You're making some kind of a stand this week, okay? You're making some kind of a stand. Yeah, there's definitely a reservation coming in here with you. You're feeling very reserved. You're making a stand. I don't see you budging this week, okay? I don't see you budging. Let's have a look. The full. I see the full as Aries energy. Let me just grab all the cards. The Queen of Pentacles. And the Ace of Cups. Hmm. I see that you're very guarded, Leo, here. I'm seeing that. I'm seeing it in the Ace of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles and even in the King of uh, Wands here because he's got his hand in his pocket. There's a very reserved energy coming through you. You're feeling very guarded. You're staying very grounded, though. Very grounded, very level-headed. Yeah, I don't feel with the Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups, I don't feel that because you're very generous, Leo, you're very generous, you're very giving, you're big hearted. But I don't see you this week uh, giving this generosity away. To this per, to this individual okay you're protecting your heart you're protecting what you have uh, your assets um, you're protecting your energy yeah you're very guarded here typically the ace of cups speaks to uh, being available for love but I just see this ace of cups as you loving on yourself this week you nurturing yourself taking care of yourself especially with the queen of pentacles because the queen of pentacles she's the queen of well-being she, you know she looks after her mind body and soul and I feel like that's what you're doing this week you're looking after your mind body and soul you're trying to fill your cup back up again 
Yeah. You're trying to fill it up because you've been giving it all away to this person who's been very toxic. Um, you know, you've been filling their cup up. But now it's time to fill your cup up. I feel with the full card here that you're trying to detach. Okay, you're trying to detach. You're trying to not have feelings for this person anymore, if I can put it like that. You're trying to, I guess, essentially not care. Hmm. All right, um, I just want to clarify the King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here in, in Leo's energy? You know, I, I like the King of Wands because you're confident within yourself and you know that you deserve more and you know that you deserve better than what you've been receiving. All right, let's just grab, yeah, the lovers. Could could be connecting to a Gemini here. I'm getting with the lovers an intensity, so... For you, the relationship has become very intense. For some of you Leos, you feel that this is your twin flame. Mm. But regardless of whether it's your twin flame or not, I feel with the Ace of Cups, you've had to prioritize yourself. And the, and the King of Wands. This is you prioritizing yourself. You're not prioritizing the connection. You're not prioritizing the relationship right now. You're looking after number one. Let's take a look at your person's energy or their feelings, I should say. Spirit, angels and guides, please show me the feelings of the person that Leo is connecting to. What is, what is this person's feelings towards Leo? What is this person's feelings towards Leo? Please show me this person's feelings towards Leo. First card, the High Priestess. Ooh, okay, they're keeping very quiet. When I see the High Priestess, this is Pisces energy, right? When I see the High Priestess, she is very quiet, she's very passive, she's very reserved. But this is someone who feels a lot. They feel a lot. They have a lot of feelings. But they're not showing these feelings. They're not expressing these feelings. They're not letting you in on how they feel. But I can confidently say here with the High Priestess that this person has a lot of feelings. Yeah. Yeah. The Seven of Wands. That's interesting. All right, I'm just going to get all the cards. The Four of Cups. <laughs> well, that the Four of Cups just confirms it for me. Okay, and the Six of Wands. So what's happening here, Leo, is... This person has strong feelings for you. I feel this, right? With the Seven of Wands and the Four of Cups, they're trying to act indifferent. They're trying to act like they don't care. They're trying to act like that whatever you're doing doesn't affect them or it doesn't bother them. Why? Because they're trying to get your attention here. They're trying to get your attention. Um... I don't know, maybe they feel like this tactic works. This person is hoping that 
they can get your attention by acting like they don't care or they're disinterested. Again, I've got to say, Leo, that this is this is emotional manipulation right here. Like this is a tactic right here. The, the reason why I say that is because deep down inside they want to get your they want to trigger you. They want to get your attention here. Do you, does that make sense, Leo? If that card didn't come out, then you know it, it would look a, diff, a lot different for me. Um, I'm just going to clarify the Six of Wands. Can we please clarify the Six of Wands? This is someone who is desperate to get your attention. They are desperate. I might even title the reading Desperate to Get Your Attention. Desperate. All right, why is the Six of Wands here? Yeah. See? See what I mean, Leo? It's a control tactic. It's to, it's to try to control you and manipulate you. We've got Aries energy here. And you know, the emperor, he's, he's sitting on his throne and he's fully decked out in armor. So what does that tell you? What does that tell you? You know, he's, he's protecting himself. He's showing you like, a, he or she is showing you like a cold and detached side to themselves. Mm, very stubborn energy. You've got someone who is very stubborn and very controlling, trying desperately to get your attention. Okay, um, why is the Four of Cups? Let me just go there. Why is the Four of Cups here? Why is the Four of Cups here in this person's feelings? The Death card. Major Arcana for Scorpio. The Death card and the Four of Cups. Mm. So this is pr basically this person's trying to act like they don't have any feelings. Okay. Yeah, they're trying to act like their feelings are dead. Their feelings have died. They don't have any feelings. That's what I get. Uh, but yeah, Leah, let's grab some advice. Let's grab some advice for you, shall we? So spirit angels and guides, what advice or extra messages do you have for our Leos? What advice? Um, I also don't see this person changing, Leo. Okay, death card for a cups. You know, they're, they're not taking the opportunity to change or grow here. And I feel like that's where you've decided here or you've observed here with the Queen of Swords that that's not going to happen with this person. You know, it's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. It's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. That's really interesting because they've got the death card and that Scorpio energy. But, uh, but that's the problem. They can't release it. They can't change it. There's something here that they are unable to change. And it's, it's their behavior. It's their manipulative tactics. It's the way that they try to control you. You know, the emperor is stubborn. 
this person can't release their own negative traits. They can't transform through their own negative traits. And I feel like you're trying to release this person. You've given them an opportunity to change, but they're not taking the opportunity. Bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. Well, well, I feel like that's definitely you. You are bringing love into the situation. There's the Ace of Cups. This is self-love. This is knowing your value in this situation. Hmm. Okay, it's time to take action, new moon in Aries. It's time to take action, new moon in Aries. Well, because you're coming in with the King of Wands and I see the lion, the lion is the leader. I do see you taking powerful action this week because you've got the fool here okay so you're you're making a big move you're making some kind of a statement you're making a bold move if i can put it like that you're you're making a courageous move or you're taking courageous action mm. but for some reason i'm connecting this card also to the emperor so don't be surprised, Leo, if the this bold move or this uh, courageous action that you're taking uh, angers this person, okay? Because for some reason I'm seeing a temper in this person or I see anger or aggression in this person. Um, they might not, like I said, outwardly show it. but I see it there. So there's your reading, Leah. I do hope that was insightful and helpful. Feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.